Hi folks, welcome back to the River Foss Fishing YouTube channel. Today we're already out and uh, fishing. I've got the rod out. I've chucked in a couple of handfuls of bait, some meat and some pellets to try and kick things off. And we're fishing just off some bushes on the far side at the moment. But as darkness falls, I'll probably inch it into the middle just a little bit more to try and not get snagged if anything big takes my bait. A barbel or a chub would go down very, very nicely. It's already probably nine o'clock. So um, I'm only gonna fish for maybe three hours not a long session but hopefully prime fishing into darkness anyway fingers crossed for a fish Well, the sun is going down, it's actually getting a little bit chilly, so I've had to put a few layers on. Um, I've had two massive thumps on the rod. I think there's probably quite a big chub down there, just testing the bait at the moment. So hopefully as the sun goes down, it'll get a little bit more confidence. I could also try some smaller baits in the hope that it would get it in its mouth better. Um, but obviously I want to try and attract barbel really, so that's why I'm going some bigger baits at the moment. We've got a really good fish on. It's really just playing. It's quite big, quite heavy. I think that's a chub. Some big head shakes. Could be a little barbel, but I don't think so. Well, we have a nice barbel there probably four or five pounds not a giant but uh gave me a good run around i thought it was actually a chub at first but turned out to be this little guy anyway this is going straight back in the water for a really good rest before we slip it back when it's ready to swim off strong is a chub. Not so sure though. So that's some bigger head shakes. Maybe just a smaller barbel. No, looks like a chub. Yeah, looks like a chub. I've already got the barbel I just caught in the net, so uh, it's gonna be an interesting one. Come on bud, in you come. Yeah, there we go, in the net it goes. Well, I was still resting that barbel in the net and we've got this really brilliant chub that's uh, taken our bait. Probably a good three, three and a half pounder, maybe four, but absolutely brilliant. Uh, we're gonna get these both rested up and slip them back now. I'm not gonna put the rod out there again until these are back safely. Well, that was an absolutely brilliant period of fishing there. Two cracking fish, a really nice barbel, quickly followed by a chub. The chub coming in before I'd even fully rested that barbel. Um, I then kept the rig out of the water until I slipped them both back and they swam off really brilliantly. It's always great to see them go back. Um, I'm now gonna re-rig this rod, get another bit of meat on there and swing it back out into position and just to see if we can get one last final fish in the last hour of this session. Well, I'm just using my red light because there's a really big hedgehog just behind me. Most mammals don't see red light very well, if at all. So hopefully I can get a really nice shot of this hedgehog. It's absolutely amazing. I might switch to a white light just very quickly, but I'm pretty sure as soon as I do that, it's gonna scarper. Let's go and take a quick look.
Oh, well, it got kind of late in the end, but I managed to get my kit packed away and get back up to the car in the darkness. The moon was absolutely incredible, so I stopped for a few quick pictures of that. Not that they do it anywhere near justice. It was absolutely amazing. Fishing wise, not too bad either. A nice barbel to kick off with and then literally a few minutes later, a really good chub. Two fish, can't complain with that. Seems like every session I go at the moment, I always seem to catch two fish, either barbel, chub, or as today, a combination of both. But I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you have all the usual things, please go down below, leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, and consider subscribing if you haven't. You can then keep up to date with videos as they come out on the channel if you're enjoying them. Hope to see you in the next one. Tight lines.